hell are you? How the hell have you been? I feel like it's been a minute since I filmed a YouTube video. Even though it's only been a week, it feels, I feel deprived. I missed you guys. It's true, Bay and I, we are back now. We got married. I'm a wifey now. It's crazy to think. But a huge thank you to you guys. All the love and support during this whole crazy week, all of your kind messages. Thank you guys so much. Bay and I see every single one of them, so. Dang, you guys are lovely. But we are back in a routine, coming right at you with an Alpha Elite video. When I saw these sets, I went, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Not only are they extremely full oriented, like I feel like it's just October in a nutshell. You got that real earthy look looking like Khaleesi up in here. I saw Game of Thrones right away. Am I crazy? Probably. But I saw really medieval vibes going on in this entire collection. So we're not doing a crazy haul today, but I do have a couple pieces in that beautiful cactus green color and the drought brown. I wanted to make sure I got a darker color and a somewhat lighter color to showcase for you guys. I also made sure that I got a sports bra and a crop top to share with you guys today. So yeah, guys, the Awfully Alpha Lux, huh? Speaking of Lux, and I know I'm gonna get questions, so I'm just gonna touch base real fast on what I'm wearing. You guys were going crazy ham and stories about this outfit. This is actually the Lux lounge set from Silk and Salt. This is the coziest, turtlenecky, loosey-goosey, wear in or outside kind of casual wear. I'm obsessed with the rust color. So I'll definitely have this outfit linked down below for you, along with my code that'll save you some money. Don't get it twisted, it's not a crop top. This is just how I do my thing. This is how it actually looks. Okay, so let's start with the leggings. First and foremost, the Alpha Lux collection is made out of their Alpha Lux materials. It's 75% nylon and 25% spandex. So extremely stretchy, wicking as hell, and really freaking soft. When I first took them out of the package, I was like, oh dang, they're really silky soft. They're very lightweight though. The material isn't the kind that bogs you down, not a heavy, thick, type of material. It's still very lightweight, somewhat thin and breathable, but I definitely feel that durability. I see that durability. There's no fingers popping through anything. Quality, best be for what we paid. <laughs> so I did get these in a small. This is my true size. So the drought brown is a real nice medium brown with a tie dye design that's super, super dark brown. So you have a really pretty contrast of a medium and super dark saturated brown. I do love and appreciate that even in this collection, they came out with solid colors as well. This way you can mix and match. Some people don't like too much print, and I think it gives really nice variety to those who want to shop around, but don't, don't really love this tie-dye look. It's not for everybody. The cactus green actually is my favorite one of them all because it has such a unique tone of green to it. It looks like a yellowish green color. I don't own anything in this color at all. It kind of looks like a sneeze, but I'm here for it. I absolutely adore that Alphalete has the rubber raised text logo. I think it feels cool, that grip action. And I do love that it's tonal, so it always matches the piece that it's on. Overall, the fit of the leggings is pretty true to size. I know on their website, they were talking about how if you're in between sizes, size up. I'm gonna go ahead and contradict them a little bit. And I personally believe if you're in between sizes, you should size down and not up. I feel like it would still, for the most part, be pretty dang squat proof. I just feel like if I could do it all over again, I would even size down to an extra small because I got a, quite a bit of wrinkle going on right around the crotch. And I noticed it in pictures when Bay and I went out on a photo shoot. I'm seeing a little too much of this, especially when I'm sitting too. It's a little too much for comfort. I think an extra small would have done me well. I do have to say the 27 inch inseam just isn't quite working for my five foot three body. So it's a, causing a bit of bunching down here, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I expected that. These smalls, especially with this type of kind of slippery material, it's still not really slipping when I squat, which is good. That's what I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to slip down my bum. With that being said, moderate support. I'm not feeling a ton of tummy control here. It's an extremely stretchy set, you guys. So if you're really looking for major tummy control, I wouldn't maybe try, I wouldn't go for this collection. Super grateful that there's no front seam. Thank you very much, Alphalete. 
therefore there's no camel toe. I am wearing underwear with these leggings to give you guys an accurate analysis. So we are super good to go in this department. Both of these colors are completely squat proof on me. Even this cactus green, which is why I made sure I got this lighter color. I wanna make sure that even this one's squat proof. Okay, so the asymmetrical sports bra. What are your thoughts on this design? I feel like you either love it to death or you hate it to death. <laughs> when I saw it online, I loved it to death. Uh, after trying it on, I'm half and half. You'll see. <laughs> I love the idea of this. This right here is what I mean by looking medieval, very Tarzani, very wild, like a wild child. You do have removable bra pads in this baby. There is just no band underneath. So keep that in mind. There's no extra support when it comes right here underneath the boobies. It kind of just lays flat. So I opted out for a size extra small. What I'm starting to notice with Alphalete is even though I'm a true size small in most brands, with Alphalete sports bras, extra small seems to be a little more fitting for me. So I sized it down to the extra small. And even though like, I'm glad I did because I feel like this whole piece right here is shifting its way down. Slowly but surely throughout the day, it'll make its way down. There just might be a little too much side boob for some people to handle. <laughs> So that's why I think extra small was good. But at the same time, right here, where my actual toddies are hanging out, I feel like it's, they're smooshed in a little too much. It gets a little too small right here. So I got a lot of side boob. All right, I know all boobs are different. As you can see, it has a little bit of a let up. So where I like it, feeling nice and secure, it's a little too loose on the back here. I absolutely love the design. This asymmetrical design is lit. But at the same time, it kind of makes me slightly insecure. <laughs> Okay, so I'm closing the show with the crop top bra, built-in crop top bra. I've been seeing this style come out a lot lately. It's a very active cropped fashion where you could bring it to the gym or wear it with a pair of jeans. Like, you know me, I will wear them with a pair of jeans. Like I said before, it is a built-in bra. So underneath, this is what it looks like. You have the full-fledged mesh breathable wicking bra with the bra pads, removable bra pads, and then the crop top just kind of lays right over like that. You do have some good cleavage here, but nothing crazy. It's still a bit conservative. Okay, so I did not expect this, but I'm definitely vibing with the crop top over the asymmetrical bra. Even though I love the look of the asymmetrical bra, the crop top's a little more practical for me, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have my side boobies trying to make its way out. And I really do appreciate the fact that there are adjustable straps just so we can avoid any mishaps. It's nearly full coverage. I have a smaller torso, so keep that in mind. If you're taller than me, which chances are you probably are, you know, you might have a little more belly showing, but for me, it's almost coming all the way down. Overall, it's very, very comfortable. Moderate support. There's no digging whatsoever. It's not shifting at all. And it kind of makes the girls look pretty decent. It's not over the top where it's like, I can't wear this more on my parents. But at the same time, it's a little something, something to my small gals. This is an extra small too, so. I would personally stick with the extra small. I wouldn't want it to be any bigger because I don't want any slippage of any sort. Whew. All right guys, so what are your thoughts on the Alphalete Alpha Lux collection? So me personally, I'm obsessed with the print. I think the material is really luxurious. Okay. <laughs> Very comfortable. Flattering for the most part. I think the sports bra, the asymmetrical sports bra, was a little bit of a letdown. And I'm not gonna lie, that's what I was looking forward to the most out of any piece. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because there's a ton more fun videos coming up. I actually did another haul of the Alphalete Amplify. Those new colors that just came out, yeah. Mm-hmm. I gave myself an early Christmas present right there. Also, we have new Gymshark. We have Buff Bunny's new Mad Scientist coming as well. That should be any day now. That I really can't freaking wait for. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.